It's always a good idea to keep things organized whenever you're working in After Effects. In this video, we're going to focus on how to keep things organized specifically in the project panel. So go to the upper left portion of the interface and click once in the project panel to make it active. In looking at the different files we have in the project panel, you'll notice we have a bunch of different kinds of files. The first way to keep things organized is to use columns. If you go to the top portion of the project panel, notice I have the name column. If we click on that, it'll organize itself from A to Z or Z to A. The next column over is labels. Labels assigns colors to specific kinds of files. So if I click on the label column here, notice now the files are organized according to their label colors. I find it interesting that the JPEGs and the vector art have the exact same label color. So I'd like to change the color for the labels for each one of these JPEG files. So I'll click on the Blue Mountains JPEG and I'll hold down Shift and I'll click on the Camper Mountains JPEG and then I'll click on the label next to one of those files and let's change it to a nice bright orange color. Now they both have switched to orange and notice the order has changed because we still have things organized according to the label column. If we click directly on the type column, you get the idea, it's organized according to type. Now, I'm going to double click on the word project in the upper left corner of the project panel to maximize that panel because you can access additional columns just by control clicking or right clicking on the dark gray area here right next to the name. So here I'll go to columns and notice I could set up any kind of information I'd like to organize things by, like the in point or the out point or the overall duration of the file. Now I don't want to use any of these, so I'll go ahead and just click outside of that menu to hide it. And I'll double click on the project panel one more time to make that panel smaller again. When you have multiple files selected, like I have here in the project panel, notice you can manipulate those files at the same time with one click, like how we changed the label color. Since these are both selected, I can also just click on one of those files and drag them down to the new folder button here in the bottom of the project panel. And since both files were selected, when I let go, they'll both end up in the folder. Notice the new folder is already highlighted, so I can just go ahead and name it. And I'll call this Images and press Return. Now, let's organize the video file. If I click on this Road Trip video file, sure enough, there's a preview in my project panel. To add this to a folder, I'll just click and drag down to the New Folder button. And here we can call this Footage. And notice, even though I'm using caps for some and lower for others, it really doesn't change how things are organized other than just the fact that they are capitalized or lowercase. Now the last one I want to create a folder for is this Summer Camp Illustrator file. So I'll click on that and drag it down to the new folder button and here I can go ahead and name this Vectors. Now what happens when you have everything organized into folders but you still want to be able to find those elements without having to open every single folder? Well, you can come up to the search area here in the project panel. So if I click once in the search area and start to type the word camp, any footage that has the word camp in it is going to be popped up. Now, it's really important that you clear out this field when you're done searching for things so that you can see everything back in the project panel when you're finished. Now, the last thing you might want to do is delete files. Like, let's say there is an image that you're not working with anymore. Well, here, I'll open the images folder and I'll click on the Camper Mountains JPEG and drag it down, not to the new folder icon, but over here to the trash icon. And when I let go, it's going to tell me, are you sure you want to remove this because it's being used in one composition? I'll go ahead and say delete. And notice when I do that, now the image is gone out of my composition. So if I didn't want to do that, I can just press Control Z on Windows or Command Z on the Mac to undo. But now you know how to actually delete files in your project panel. Now I have to say, Getting in the habit of keeping the project panel well organized is a very good way to keep your creative life pain-free as you continue on in your journey as an After Effects artist.